Hey, hey guys, you can see we are in the boat, got it ripped apart, post Grand Lake, pre-Lake Cherokee, leaving tomorrow, had a few days at home, and just kind of let this stuff uh, sit for a little bit, took a little break from fishing, but uh, getting ready, and before I, actually I'll probably leave this on for Cherokee, but uh, anyways, before I dive into getting my tackle ready for that event, I want to go over and share with you guys how I caught them at Grand Lake. I uh, had a good good second day, first day not so much, but I didn't really figure out the deal until the end of the second day and lost the keeper and had a few more really close short fish. So I uh, just got on a little late the first day and uh, capitalized on it the second day. But anyways, the answer was this dude right here. This is a six cents crush. 75 a flat 75x it is a flat sided crankbait red orange belly natural great natural springtime color um, i was throwing this on my signature series rod um, this is the uh, john hunter reaction series we call it the hunter series it's for you know moving baits any any kind of baits that hunt uh, throw all my crankbaits on it and all that good stuff throwing it on some P line, 12 pound test, tactical fluorocarbon, and uh, six to four one gear, gear ratio reel. Um, so, you know that that's that's the baits that that's what I caught three quarters of my fish on. I did catch one or two on a tube and one on a jerk bait um, the first day, but most of my weight came on this dude here um, in the in the spring. So the reason the reason the flat side's the deal, um, it doesn't it's a little more subtle uh flat flat sided crankbaits even even after the spring they're particularly good in the spring because fish are um you know they're not looking for that for that giant meal the water was still fairly cold and uh they're not looking for something that's putting off just giant amounts of water this thing's a little more subtle and um, a little bit quieter it doesn't have a crazy loud rattle you can hear it it's it's very very quiet it's it doesn't even hardly makes any noise at all um so i think that's the ticket the the, the silent no rattle flat side uh definitely gets more bites you can get more bites with this even late in the spring and summertime like around here at high pressure lakes i live near a big city in uh, louisville i'll throw this thing year round pretty much it's just a big it's a i call it, it's a bite getter it get flat out gets bites now what else targeting um, these fish, like I said, the water was cold, but it was starting to warm up a little bit. We saw temps in the mid, mid fifties. And, uh, not only was the temperature getting warmer, but the days are getting longer. We had daylight savings times change there. You know, the days are getting longer. There's less darkness. This, all this together triggers these fish to want to go shallow, want to push up. They want to spawn. So what, what I was targeting was the inside. So whenever I would see a secondary point and it got really to where it was almost you could call your shot the second day you would find a secondary point inside a creek that led into a pocket when i say secondary i don't mean a main secondary point i mean kind of back in the creek so you would see that last little point sticking out and you would either get bit right on the point or within the first probably 50 60 yards inside the point and what they're doing is those fish they stage those main lake points they move into those secondary points and then they get on what i call lead-in banks and uh, lead-in banks is where is where I was catching them. Um, anytime there was an abnormality in the lead-in bank, whether it be a transition or a little nook out or a little indention in the bank, anytime there was an irregular irregularity for them to set up on, that's that's where they were hanging. And um, that's just, I mean, it's it's in the book, you know, bass fishing one on one. Look for the irregularities, look for the transitions. But the ticket was looking for those things on the lead-in banks in the backs of the pockets um it was it was you know once i got dialed in it was pretty easy to go run around and look for it and uh duplicate that bite so yeah it's that time of the year for most of the midwest so uh get out there look for that pattern get you a crush flat 75x by six cents um water was dirtier so i went with this red red color here um you know, chartreuse would would have worked too. I just got a few bites on this and decided to roll with it. Had some confidence in it. Um, clear water, you can you can jerk down those same banks. You don't have to crank, um, but if you have some wind, you can cover a lot more water a lot quicker with a crankbait. But I do like a jerk bait, so um, 
yeah, I mean, try that. If you have a lot clearer water, the jerk bait can sometimes be, be a better play. And, uh, favorite color there is just any shad pattern. Uh, six cents makes it provoke. It's a killer jerk bait. Give that a look too. Um, anyways, guys, go have fun this spring. Be safe and go catch some fish. We're going to go to Cherokee and try and have a good finish there. And, uh, hopefully, uh, next week we'll be talking about another good finish, uh, with the tidbits and the baits I use there. Catch you then.